Hey guys, Dan here, and welcome back to Dan Fails At, a series where I go back and play old retro games and fail horribly at them because, let's face it, I'm sorry. Uh, so today I am playing Alien for the Atari 2600. This game was put out by Fox, and it is supposed to be the game that accompanies the Ridley Scott classic film Alien, which was released in the 1970s and is considered to be a, a pretty great horror film for its time, as well as a great science fiction film. Uh, this game, not exactly making marks on gaming. Um, I, I don't know if you can tell just from looking at it, like I could the second I fired it up, but it is Pac-Man with aliens and a little blue, presumably Ripley, although it looks a little more masculine than Sigourney Weaver does, although not that much. Uh, but yeah, basically it's the same concept. You're going through a maze, collecting the dots. If you collect power pellets, I don't know what they're called in this game, but I call them power pellets, it turns the aliens blue, and you can eat them. Then when you clear the level, you get this little frogger-like stage, which sucks because you can only go forward, you can't go left or right. So we're going through, we collect power pellets, we eat the aliens, we navigate the maze, we run. You also have a gun that you can fire to uh, scare off the aliens, but it doesn't work very well. Frankly, I found that I've died more than a few times attempting to use that thing that was going to save me. Other times it works out beautifully. A few times I've actually been blue and I've even glitched through the aliens. Now, part of that could be to blame on the fact that I'm playing this on an emulator and not on an actual... See? Not on an actual system, but who knows, really. I mean, when this game came out, it was a different time. Things were a little bit more uh, uh, primitive when it came to computing and video games. So, yeah, I just failed pretty bad, but we're going to try another round of this, see if I can't do a little bit better. And the aliens, and you'll notice that the aliens are actually different colors. Instead of going with a, a unified color for all the xenomorphs, they actually decided to color each one uh, individually. So I guess it's supposed to be Inky, Blinky, and... Inky, Blinky, and Doc. I don't know. I really do not know. Oh god, red's on my tail, red's on my tail. I like how when you get the power pallet, they run for you, but if they're right on you, they don't stop running. They just keep chasing you down. This game doesn't have fruit, but it does have, uh, presumably, is pieces of weaponry that you pick up. And you get point bonuses for I don't really know. I mean, I don't have an instruction book with the game. I could probably look one up online. Yeah, that sucks pretty hard. And eventually you run out of fire in this weapon. So even if you're only using it sparingly, you're going to run out. This level, I've seen people complete it online, but it's pretty difficult. Yeah, I, I wasn't making that. You guys knew that. Besides, this video series isn't Dan Succeeds at. As a matter of fact, that's the entire reason that I haven't played Star Wars the Arcade game on the Atari 2600 just yet on this show. Uh, that game, the controls are a little difficult, but the game is actually rather easy. I deserve that. Uh, but this one is literally just navigating a maze going through. This is going to be the last set of lives I'm going to try and do this on. Uh, this game, even though it is a little simplistic, it is kind of addicting. Not gonna lie, it does get a little addicting after a while. I played this for about 10 minutes to warm up before I recorded this. And I didn't do much better than you see now. Frankly, I could have just recorded that gameplay from earlier through a commentary over and it would have been perfect. But I decided to give this live to you guys like I always do because I really appreciate my viewership. Uh, if there's any games you guys want to see me fail at in a one-shot LP or in a series, let me know in the comments below. And I also want to know what retro systems and games you guys like playing. I'm always interested in hearing what other people are into playing. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash danstransky. You can check out my blog, 1138geekconfessions.wordpress.com. And you can also check out my news that I do on the Weird Science DC Comics podcast. Now, because I'm tired of playing a horrible Pac-Man knockoff, uh, I'm going to go play a horrible Pac-Man.
You know what, guys? I might have been wrong about Alien. On second thought, I think Alien might actually be slightly better and an improvement on the Pac-Man port for the Atari 2600 if this experience I'm having right now is anything to go by. Uh, I'm doing my best not to have a seizure from the flickering ghosts. See you guys later. This is Dan signing off for real this time.